Yo, what's up everybody? So, today, I wanted to make a pretty simple uh, guide to how you, to using rain meter and to have a really neat customized desktop like one you can see right here. So, two things that you'll be needing before. Uh, one, you don't need, but it's pretty nice to have and it's wallpaper engine and so you can have these uh, live moving wallpapers. And uh, some of them can be interactable, some of them will have videos that even play music and can uh, be used in tandem with the visualizer. And here you can see the visualizer here. I'll turn up the music just a little bit. So you can see it. it's pretty neat. But anyways, let's get started. So first you want to go to rainmeter.net, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, for the 4.1 final release, you download it, pretty simple, install it, all that. And then you want to also get VisBubble, Translucent Taskbar, Phoenix, and Muyan. If you download it and it says 404, just refresh the page and then download it again. And it should download. And if it doesn't do it, then just keep refreshing and downloading. Unless it doesn't work, then uh, just message me and I'll try to help you out there. Or leave a comment. And so once you've downloaded it, uh, if you're downloading Rainmeter for the first time, you'll probably notice that. Let me do that. Let me close that. That there's a bunch of things from this, from uh, from this that looks like this, and it looks really bad in my opinion. But it's just like welcome to Rainmeter, getting started, and you can click this to help find skins, uh, all that. Uh, to unload it, you want to go to your little arrow to show hidden icons and then click the raindrop or you can just right click and then unload the skins or you can right click and go to manage skin to find this and then you want to unload all of the uh, illustro skins and then after that you can just close that little thing and you want to just move out uh, whatever it is that you want to use. Now I use the Muyan Launcher, the Phoenix Date Power, wait no I don't, I use the Phoenix Date Search, System, Time, and Weather, Translucent Taskbar, and the Visibubble uh, Bar Extrude. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on how to customize the Muyan Launcher, and then I'll get on how to fix uh, the language thing for Phoenix. So with Muyan, uh, it look you know when you first get started with using Rainmeter, it looks you know all you know difficult and complicated, but it's actually pretty simple uh, once you like you know once you get used to it. So I would assume most people have Steam, and I'm going to show you guys how to use the games or change the games to a Steam icon. Or not a Steam icon, but a uh, have the icon open Steam. So to get so get it to do that, uh, you either want to right click your Steam icon and open file location, or if you don't have that, you want to open up a, a file explorer. You want to go down to this PC, Windows C, uh, Program Files 86. Scroll down to Steam, and then you'll be here. And then what you want to do from here is you want to left click the uh, directory. You want to control C, so you copy that shit. And then you want to copy and paste it on the first one. And then you want to copy or you want to paste it on the second one. And then you want to save it. And then you want to refresh it and then you click it. And then it opens the Steam folder. And I just pranked you. And this is to show you that that's not how you do it. What you want to do is you want to do a backdash and then you want to type out steam.exe and you want to do it for both of them steam.exe and you want to save it then you want to reload it again and there you go that's how you get it to work trust me it took me like 30 minutes to figure out how to get this to work until i realized that he had exe on all of them and then i was like oh I feel like an idiot. So how it works is, uh, essentially, 
when, if you just type out, for example, how we did is we just copy and pasted C program files Steam. Uh, that's just opening. That's just telling it to open up the Steam folder where the Steam file is. Adding the you know backdash Steam.exe is telling it to then open the Steam exe in the folder. So that's all you're doing, and then that's how you just make everything you know do everything else. And then next, if you want to leave it as games, you can. But if you want to change the name to Steam, simply go to, you know, you see where the games is, then you want to, not on the first one, but to the second one where it says text, change it to Steam, do that, refresh, now it's to Steam. And then lastly, if you want to change the icon, you want to go to Manage Rain Meter, then go to Muyon Suite, right click it, open folder, go to resources, I lied, go to launcher, go to icons and then you can choose out of there's only one that they don't use and then here I have a uh, I have one just for the sake of the example so to change it you want to go to the first one and you want to go to uh, the image name and it'll say icons backdash and then you want to change that to whatever it is that you want to change it to. So for me, it'll be Thought Patrol. Save it, and then refresh it. As you can see, it's Thought Patrol. Now, uh, you want to make sure that you have it, you know, correctly, you know, the size. Because if it's too big or too small, it'll stretch it out, which is what you're seeing here. It's squishing it because it's very uh, wide. So, yeah, don't do that. I'm going to go ahead and change it back to, actually I'm going to change it to the one that it, the, uh, the one it doesn't use, do a big ship, it's pretty good, so, yeah, and that's how you, uh, completely customize the icons, the name, and what they do, you can do that for each of them, it's pretty simple, and that's all I use from Moon Suite, you can uh, use the other things, I personally don't really like them, but if you want to use them, you can. Next is Phoenix. Uh, all the things are self-explanatory. You just drag and drop them, you know, where you want them to be. So you just like, all right, I want this to be over here, yada yada. Uh, there's only one problem for most people, unless you speak French, then you're like, oh sweet, it works perfectly. So clever dude. I know that sentence didn't work out at all. Or the the phrase I used did not work. It's just whatever. It's a bad joke. Anyways. Uh, to fix that, you want to open folder, and then you want to go to resources, and then you want to go to languages, and there will be two extra languages, uh, and whichever one you don't want, you delete those two, and you leave the one that you do. So if you say speak Spanish, you leave the Spanish one, and you delete English and French. And then you want to reload all of the ones, or reload all the things, so like the date, and I'm pretty sure, or in notes too, that, that also uses the language. But if you don't use notes, then you just want to reload the date, and then it'll make it whatever language you use. And for everything else, you just move it. Uh, let's see. Next is the translucent taskbar. Uh, the way it comes out of the box. Uh, how it works is it actually is blurry, so normally it'll have like a pretty nice blur. But me personally, I like being able to completely see through. So like even if I'm using the browser, I can still see the bottom of my wallpaper. That's just me. And if you want to keep it like that too, all you have to do is uh, there will be nothing here. You won't see accent state. So you want to click right next to the one of update divider, and then you want to type in. You want to type enter space accent state to, and uh, yeah, and then it'll be completely see through. Uh, don't save. Well, I, well, you save it and then you refresh it. I'm just saying don't save because I'm not going to save. And then lastly, Viz Bubble. This one's a pain in the butt because, like, the instructions for here is like really confusing. 
so you know you you get you move it to wherever you want it to move and you're like all right cool sweet now i got it to where i want it now i want to change the settings if you're lucky you you you'll have a uh, right clicked it and then you'll see this and you're like sweet and you're done if you didn't uh you would have gone through the painstaking process of going to this one and seeing this doesn't do anything going to this one and seeing this one doesn't do anything and uh yeah it's just annoying but uh you know to get it to work you just right click it settings file I, you can if you want to get this to work you can this is just like really really bad it's a really bad menu but yeah once you oh, I need to move this but yeah once you've uh, once you've done everything you have it set you have the colors you have it fit around whatever you want it to fit and you're just you know you're done you have the colors you just set click through and uh, unclick draggable and then once you've done that uh, you should be good and so with that you now have a bunch of little things on the top you have buttons that all do you know I'll take you to different things you have a search bar and you have a clock that tells you what time it is and the time of day and how hot it is outside even though it doesn't matter, because if you're like me, you never go outside. But yeah, I hope this video has helped. If it, uh, if you enjoyed it, like. If you haven't enjoyed it, dislike. Uh, if you want to see more videos, that uh, I'd appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah, like I said, I hope this video has helped. I hope you have a happy Fourth uh, of July, and uh, just have a good day in general. Peace.